On most sunny days, Ray Stanford can be found along creeks in College Park, Maryland, in the Washington suburbs. Hey, wait, we, we got one here. That's pretty good. This is from a, a flesh-eating dinosaur. This is from a theropod dinosaur. You can see the, where the toenails were. How does he know? By experience. It, it's just a matter of experience and knowledge. Stanford began hunting for fossil footprints 18 years ago. Really, my children did. They took an interest in dinosaurs, and we got a book about dinosaur tracks. And uh, once we looked at it, we were in a stream bed. We began to discover dinosaur tracks. At first, I couldn't believe it. Since then, Stanford has collected more than a thousand footprints of various kinds of dinosaurs. He turned his living room into what he calls the Stanford Museum. What we have here is the only known evidence of feathered dinosaurs that has been found in the Western Hemisphere. Stanford says this fossilized baby dinosaur is one of the only known hatchling dinosaurs of any kind. It's a natural cast of the mummy of a nodosaur fossil, an armored dinosaur that grew to be very large and very heavy as an adult. Stanford donated some of his findings to the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History in Washington. They're displayed in the Dinosaurs in Our Backyard exhibit. Matthew Carano is the museum's curator. Most importantly, he's found footprints of dinosaurs that we haven't found the bones of yet. So because he's found those footprints, we know these dinosaurs lived here, and we didn't have that information before uh, Ray discovered them. Recently, Stanford surprised scientists at the U.S. Space Agency by finding this footprint on the grounds of NASA's Space Flight Center in the Washington suburbs. Robert Cahalan is one of the center's chief scientists. It's interesting that right here, a place I can walk to from my office, I can see something from 112 million years ago. It's thrilling. A notosaur made this track in the Cretaceous era, says Johns Hopkins University paleontologist David Weisample, who was a consultant on the 1993 film Jurassic Park. He's given us a, lot, a more full picture of the dinosaurs of the East Coast. He seems to have this gift to be able to find these things and recognize their significance. Stanford calls himself an amateur paleontologist, but he's co-authored scientific papers with Professor Wise Ample and other scientists. It's a great pleasure. You're seeing something that no one has ever seen that they didn't even know was here, and it gives you a, a great sense of discovery, which is it's very exciting to me. Ray Stanford plans to keep on tracking until he says there's nothing left to find. For producer June So, I'm Carol Pearson, VOA News.